চলতে চলতে অনুষ্ঠানে সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আমরা এসেছি কুর্মিটলা গলফ ক্লাবে এবং আমার আজকের অতিথি ঢাকায় ইউরোপীয় ইউনিয়নের মিশন প্রধান অ্যাম্বাসেডার উইলিয়াম হান অ্যাম্বাসেডার উইলিয়াম উইলিয়াম হানা মোস্ট ওয়েলকাম টু মাই শো চলতে চলতে হাও আর ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ why my first question is why you are choose uh, this golf club for uh, shooting well i know you're doing a program which is called uh, walk and talk and this is one of the places i like to walk in in dhaka um it's a lovely it's a lovely place it's so green uh i'm able to come here and play a game which i like which is golf uh and also able to see a lot of birds there's a lot of bird life here so nice place to be and have a walk and talk with you So you are a golfer uh, from how many years? I've been playing <laughs> I've been trying to play this game for since I was since I was so high. And I haven't mastered it yet. But we'll try and maybe hit a shot yeah. and then see how we go well, and we can I think my audience will like to uh, see you see, as a golfer. Who knows, <laughs> We're who just what, waiting. Who knows this. what will happen? We'll see. Okay. We'll see how it goes. I'll just just try and uh Go hit it very slowly. Yeah. Now we are waiting for your shot. Mm. Wow, mm, not very good. Not very good? No. So, uh, <laughs> I think I think we're going to find we're going to find that ball in the water. But anyway, we can go and walk so and try. So, don't you claim you are a very good golfer? Well, no, no. I told you I've been playing for a long time. Long time. But there's a difference between being a good golfer and and playing the game. Anyway, I enjoy it and it's a great way to uh to get out into the fresh air. I think when we do a round of golf, you probably work walk about 7 miles. 7 miles. During the during the whole for 4 or 5 hours. It can get very hot out here. You see it's really yeah. already hot this in the morning. But it's a lovely place and I'm always on the lookout not just for the the game of golf but also for the bird life. Bird life. There are lots of uh, kingfishers, you know, masaranga. There are kites, there are eagles, uh all sorts of birds. So there. so you, you 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 love the nature very much. Yes, yes, it uh, I mean anything that's green like this reminds me of uh, home, my home country which is you know is Ireland, Ireland, which is a very green country. uh where we have lots of golf courses and we've also got some good golfers in Ireland so i want to hear from you about your childhood about ireland about uh when you were very little uh, that is story mm. well uh one of the things i remember uh when i'm going around playing golf is that my father used to play with me so i used to he used to take me out when i was uh eight or nine years old uh and i wasn't really allowed to play and have my own clubs but every now and then he would allow me to take one shot uh to practice and so we would walk around uh, and, and play with him uh that was in in Ireland back in the 1960s so i was growing up uh at the time you know early 60s was uh uh time of the beatles time of the rolling stones it was a yeah. very very interesting time to be to be growing up uh we were very connected to everything that was happening in britain with the, all the 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 rock and roll and the and and, and so on um but growing up in and i was in in belfast uh in ireland uh one thing that happened when when i was about 13 14 we came to 67 68 that was a very troubled time you're too young to remember yeah but at that time there was a lot happening in the world there was the vietnam the war conflict. there was civil civil rights was the big theme uh and 68 was uh the students in paris were rioting uh things were happening all over the world and it came to it came to Ireland as well it came to Belfast the 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 desire for civil rights and so i began to realize that the country i was growing up in which seemed very pleasant and so on actually was a divided country there were divisions uh, and there were some people who were privileged and others who were who were less privileged so it was a time uh 13 14 beginning to question uh what was hap- what was happening and why was it happening and why was there things were very peaceful up until about 68 69 and then we had the beginning of of rioting people were were demanding their civil rights and then more more violence and pe- people i think know the the story of 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 northern ireland and it actually got to a stage in the early 70s of of a lot of violence a lot of people being killed in in the streets of belfast bombs going off 
Uh, and uh, this is just about the time we get to 71, 72 when we hear about Bangladesh. Yeah. But when we're hearing about Bangladesh and it's uh, George Harrison yeah, that's uh, and Ravi Shankar and so on, and learning about this, this faraway place called, called Bangladesh, in our country there was a lot going on as well. So it was a time of a lot of a lot of change, a lot of conflict. Uh, so you got a chance from your uh, very childhood to know about the people's right. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, well, it it was a question also of of uh, beginning to question, you know, what what is received because we were being told one version of history, uh, learning one version of history at school, but not all history was being taught. So we had some good teachers who were, who were teaching us to think a little bit about, to ask questions about why things were happening. Uh, and for me, definitely, it was, a, it, was a, it was the first time when I had to ask myself a little bit whether everything I've been told is right or wrong, or, 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 or and, and what is truth and where is, where is, uh, where is history. Uh, so that, that, I think, was an interesting time. And for me, the, the, perhaps the... The most, uh, uh, when, I, when I understood it best was when I actually left uh, Belfast and I went, I was studying French. That is in who is here? I went to, to France uh, in 1970. And when I went to France and I went there to learn, uh, to learn French and stayed with a, with a friend, they would ask me questions about what was happening in Belfast and I didn't have answers. You know, they would ask me difficult questions. Why are, which side are you on? Why, are, why is the army doing this? Why are the protesters doing that? And I didn't have the, the answers. And I think for me, uh, uh, it's when it's very often when you go abroad, when you go elsewhere, and you're asked questions that you have to start thinking a little bit. If you don't travel, you may not have that opportunity to. to you may just accept what you're being told. But once you travel, you have to you have to see how you're seen from from outside, and that makes you question uh, yourself. So I began to question indeed um, what was right and what was wrong in, so in, 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 in uh, Ireland. In, in 1970 or 1971, you are almost a 16 year young man yeah uh, you were born in 1955 mm -hmm. if i am not wrong so you have heard the liberation war of bangladesh at that time can you recall anything well what i mean what we uh, what we i mean we knew about india we knew about the partition in 1947 and i i family who'd been in, in india so i knew a little bit about that but i think the first time we hear about bangladesh is is indeed 71, uh, the concert, uh, Harrison and Ravi Shankar, and that's when, that's when we first heard about what was going on, and then, and then reports came through, but you know, in those days, there wasn't so much uh, uh, instant reporting, I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't CNN, uh, yeah. there were just some reporters sending back, but sometimes the reports were coming in long afterwards, but we got the picture of what was happening, and the picture was one of, of great suffering, uh, and then of, of, of famine and of the refugees leaving the country and, uh, and it was linked also to, to other conflicts that were happening elsewhere in the world. So it was a very, it was, I mean, we were a long way away, but there was a feeling, I suppose, of, of solidarity. Uh, and I think Harrison, through his connections with Ravi Shankar and so on, yeah. expressed that. And then the fact that all these fantastic rock musicians came along to the concert, Bob Dylan and all these people who we looked up to as our, as our heroes, drew our attention to, to, to that. And you know, uh, later on, that, that, that idea that a rock musician would, would draw attention of the world to a problem was picked up by a couple of Irish, Irish. Wow. Uh, musicians. Your Gel people. Geldof, you know, Geldof did it in the 1980s with what was happening in Ethiopia. Uh, and of course, Bono later. So there is, there is a sort of tradition of our, our heroes, uh, the people we look up to, uh, then getting involved in politics and political issues and drawing the attention of people to what's happening in the world. Want to know about your student life, especially your university life? Mm -hmm. uh, what you have studied? Well, uh, I to told you I went to France and I was very interested yeah. in French. Uh, and then when I was going, it was uh, it was 1973, and I was really quite keen to get out of Belfast because <laughs> it was it was uh, it was hairy. There were bombs going off, and so on. Much better to get out. Uh, and uh, I wanted to go to Edinburgh. And Scotland, not far away from, but Edinburgh is a, a lovely place, and I wanted to go there. My father had been at Edinburgh, so I, I thought that would be an ambition to go there, to study French. But then I, then I thought to myself, it's not enough to just study a language, because if you study a language, you might be able to speak the language, but what would you do later? And 1973 was the year that uh, there was the first enlargement of the, of the European Union. The, what we called at the time the, the common market of the six countries. Uh, expanded to include Britain and Ireland and Denmark. Uh, so I thought um, I might as well study something about the European Union. And there was a course in Edinburgh 
There were only five of us who took it, but I said, I'll maybe study that course. It might give me a job later on. In, in Excellent. Life. So we have to take a short break. Uh, I was playing rugby. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that day, and uh, we, we'd done very badly in rugby. We'd lost a match. And she came up and asked me to dance, and uh, I said yes. Good decision. Yeah.